Now if you ask your dad to get some in So leave your mummy's laughing arms There's no way you can win You're victim of your corporal charm So get some in The rat's got two years of your life Now isn't that a sin? There's only one way to get out And that's to get some in Scotland, have you? No, the train broke down a couple of miles back. It more or less had to with you on it, didn't it? Right. So, this is Lancashire, eh? No wonder they ate tripe. <laughs> How do you find the camp? Wait for transport, as we were told. Being the raft, they'll probably send a mobile gas chamber. <laughs> Leave went quickly, didn't it? I'd hardly pulled my surplus over my head when it was time to come back. <laughs> How was your leave, Bruce? I think my dad's got carbuncles. <laughs> Discovered it when he took my wee sister Annie to the infirmary. She's got ringworm. <laughs> then it poured with rain. Half my bedroom ceiling came down. Rangers get beaten a Saturday. It wasn't he bad? I spent 72 hours apologising to my parents for not getting a commission. Empty. 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 Ah, oh, empty. <laughs> yeah, just about says it, doesn't it? Come on, chaps. Cheer up. At least we're still together. Let's try and look on the bright side of things. There ain't no bright side. Here we are, hundreds of miles from nowhere. 22 months still to do. Oh, God. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and what is the RAF training us as? Bloody nursing attendants. <laughs> I still get a lump in my throat when I think of home. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Three old wax got locked in the lavatory. They were there from Monday. Hello. You lot for Midham? Yeah, that's right. Come on then, I've uh, got the rooms outside. Hey, uh, mate, oi. Uh, what's this camp like? Butlins. Oh, <laughs> straight up. I told you, Butlins. Falling on your feet getting posted here, you have. He's dead cushy. Oh, here oh. that. Cushy, he said. He's either drunk or daft. <laughs> oh dear, what can the matter be? Three old wefts got locked in the lavatory. Right, okay, we'll you again. Hang about here. Oh, I'll just go and get your flight sergeant. Yeah, right. Flight sergeant? Oh, God, a flight sergeant! Quick, run! Oh, no, hang on a minute. Get in the line. It. Flight sergeant to the worst. Yeah, he'll probably make Marsh look like Larry the Lamb. Shh. Sorry, sir. Flight sergeant. Flight sergeant. Right. Answer your names. Lecky. Flight sergeant. Lily. I'm afraid that's me, flight sergeant. We've all dropped kit bags in our time, lad. Don't panic. Thank you. 
Richardson. Fight, <laughs> Sergeant. Smith. Flight, Sergeant. Right. My name is Flight Sergeant Wells. I shall be taking you for general nursing and first aid studies. I dare say you'd all like to stay together, so I've put you in the same quarters. Block D, room six. Down there, on the left. All right, get yourselves moved in. I'll see you later. Oh. Keep your noses clean. It not only makes for a quiet life, it's also hygienic. <laughs> he sounds human. He actually sounds human. Yeah. It's a trick. <laughs> Shut up. Come on, D6. It's nicer than skeleton, isn't it? Yeah, so is Wormwood Scrubs. <laughs> Hey, look! They've even got tennis courts. Do you play then? <coughs> no. It's just nice to know they've got them. <laughs> what do you suppose is through there? I don't know, mate. Looks very hush-hush, doesn't it? Probably something to do with biological warfare. Biological warfare is right. <laughs> They're wefs. Wefs. Right, here are D6. Let's camber the place. Now, hang a bat. We've wandered into the office's mess or something. Oh, crikey. Well, it says D6 on the door. Yeah. But there are only four beds. That means we'd have privacy. And there's a radiator. Oh. That means we'd have warm. It must be their own place. Oh, I've got locked in the lavatory. Here, mate. Oi. Hello, campers. All right, then. Yeah, fine. Uh, is this D6? No. It's D6. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only it seems a bit, um, well, civilised yeah. for trainees. Oh, yes. It's a very pleasant little place. Home from home. But there is a drawback. What's that, then? Well, I'm afraid the uh, maid doesn't come in till nine o'clock. <laughs> we don't really have a maid, do we? Who's he? <laughs> well, we think he might be an angel. <laughs> now, listen, straight up. This is our room now, isn't it? Oh, yes, of course it is. Oh, dear, it's almost beyond comprehension. Oh, yeah. Comprehension? I can hold Oxford and Cambridge then. Hey, you're a very uh, cheerful sort of fella. <laughs> oh, yes, I am, Jock. I am. Well, uh, could you answer me this? And it's very important. Is it getting posted here that makes you so cheery? <sighs> no, of course it's not. I'm getting demobbed next week. <laughs> oh, I thought it was unnatural. Well, do put a suck in it, Bruce. This is like the Dorchester compared with that rotten hut at Skelton. Right, and leave us not forget the most important thing of all. Which is what? No corporal, B-A-S-T-A-R-D, Marsh! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> right, let's toss up for beds then. I'll have this one. Here, hang about. I wonder if you can see in a WAF quarters from here. Oh, play the game, Jakey. Can you at all? <laughs> nah. Still, they're there. That's the main thing. They are there. Yes. Once we've settled in, I think I might take a little stroll over there and fix myself up with the date. How long does this course last? Thirteen weeks. But the speed you move with, Tarts, you ain't got time. <laughs> no? No. Uh, gosh, what an opportunity. Now, don't you stop, Matthew. <laughs> I wasn't talking about a thing. Oh. What were you talking about? Well, it says here in my Hiker's Guide to Great Britain, St. Osser's tomb is only two miles away from Blackpool. So what? Well, it's not very far. We could go there. Why? Well, so that we could look at it and say golly to ourselves. <laughs> well, what do we do after that? Well, come back here. Fantastic. Hey, hang on, Pat. Did you say Blackpool wasn't far from here? About ten miles. Bla Blackpool! There's him going on about some rotten old tomb and we are ten miles from Blackpool. The Tower Ballroom with a weft. Up the Golden Mile with a weft. <laughs> Under the pier with a weft. <laughs> oh, you can count me in. You find your own weft. <laughs> I'm beginning to like this posting. It's getting better and better all the time. Same here. The atmosphere's completely different. 
And there's something else. What's that? Being nursing attendants might be a blessing in disguise. <laughs> ah, come. Well, the very nature of nursing suggests we're finished with all that stamping about, doing things by numbers. I think life here is going to be more like taking a course at university. Oh, I say. Well, you lot can say what you like, but it's still the RAF, and the RAF is specifically designed to make life a misery. Oi, Bruce, <laughs> shut up, will ya? I think Ken's right, you know. Things are on the up. Oh, the sun has got his hat on. <laughs> <laughs> the sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. <laughs> Hello, lads. Aren't you glad to see me? Well, I'm waiting. Who's going to make the speech a welcome? You... You... Well, yeah. you come on then, Richardson, out with it, come on. You said you were going to retrain as a radar fitter. Now, that is not a speech of welcome. That is a downright little fib. He told a fib, Matthew. But you did say you were going to be a radar fitter. You as well, St Matthew. I've got an horrible feeling that in the short time that we've been apart, the devil has been at work. You must have been making him turn up. Oh, my. <laughs> my little shell lights have just heard the voice of the devil. The voice of the devil speaking in a foreign accent. Hold your box of toys, kilt nasty. Now, once and for all, <laughs> once and for all, what I said was the last thing I wanted to be was a radar fitter. Oh, I'll get it. They wouldn't have you. <laughs> Don't you dare say that. It's a lie. Everybody wanted me, everybody. I chose it. Well, I must say, Corporal, that for an innately combative person, it does seem to be a very passive, not to say quixotic, choice. I'll let that one go. <laughs> he doesn't know what it means. Hang a door, puff house. Shut it. <laughs> no, I decided to train as a medic because it is more than just a job. It is a calling, a vacation. I, I was just lying there in bed the other night with my lovely wife when it suddenly came to me for the first time in my life I realised that I had a pair of hands. But where to put them? Any dirty remarks for you, Ted, and I'll pull down your throat and tear your tonsils out! Are you talking about some kind of religious experience, Corporal? Yes, Matthew. I suppose I am. I put my hands up to massage my massive, intelligent brain and as I got them in front of my eyes, I saw this word written on them. That word wasn't... Jesus, was it? Jesus, no. <laughs> Sanitation. Perhaps the letters had come off the toilet roll, like a transfer. <laughs> <laughs> you island bird, no! That was the moment that was the turning point in my whole career. It was that moment that I decided to train as a nursing attendant. Oh, oh, oh nursey, come over here and hold my hand. Corporal nursey! <laughs> nursing attendant. You know, it's funny. I could have sworn they bunged you in here to make up the numbers. You free of... No. No, I'm not going to lose my rag with you yet, Ted. There's plenty of time for that. This course lasts 13 weeks. <laughs> That's longer than basic training. Corporal, uh, where, where will you be sleeping? Hello, why? No, I mean, will you be on, a, on an extra bed in here with us? Well, near you, you mean? Well, yes. And take the risk of falling foul to your horrible nighttime prowlings. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shall be down the corridor. That is until they fix me up with married quarters. Then I shall be sending for my lovely wife, Queen Alice Theresa the <laughs> First. But don't worry, I shall keep popping in to see my little mates from Skelton. I told you, the half always gets you in the end. It's bloody typical, isn't it? I mean, just as things start to get better, he turns up. Yeah, like a bad penny. Oi, 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 oi! Who do you think you're talking to? Just because you're at a different camp and you've got a few weeks in, don't think you can start getting lippy with me. Oh, but that's just the point, Corporal. Things have changed. Yeah. Go on then, Richardson. Tell me how things have changed. All right, I will. The fact is that you and us four are in the same boat. We are both going to be on the receiving end from instructors. It's not going to be you instructing us. I'm afraid you'll have to accept the fact that here you are just another bloke on the course. Dead right, Jane. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of truth in that, except for one small detail. These, you rat-bagging, puff-house, grammar school puff! These! <laughs> as long as there's a lead in my pencil, these give me total power over you lot. I am God. You're not! You mustn't say that! I can say what I like before I didn't see you stick insect! 
That's about time that you were all reminded that when I crack the whip, you jump. Now on your feet, jump! Up, down, up, down, up, down. Stop on the floor, move. Press ups begin. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Stop on your feet, kick bags above your head, move. Knees bend, down two, three, up two, three, down two, three, up. Don't wilt, Matthew, there's another hour of this. Down two, three, up two, three, down two, three, up. Stand still. Kick bags down. Oh, hello, Chief. Flight Sergeant. Flight Sergeant. What is all this? Oh, I know these four of old, they're troublemakers. They need keeping in their place. Uh, yes, and what place would that be? On the ground with my foot on their heads. <laughs> You're an ex-drill instructor, aren't you? Hmm, does it show? Yes, but then so does leprosy. <laughs> now, listen to me. This is a medical training centre. The aim here is to turn out efficient medical personnel, not bull-happy robots. <laughs> Don't laugh too soon, Adam. You'll find this course hard enough. But that's what I mean, Flight Sergeant. They've got to have it hard. But not your sort of hard. Look, we're both NCOs. Can't we have a little chat about this in private? No. I've said what I've got to say, Corporal. Right, change into number two dress and join the others outside, all of you. And I mean all of you. <laughs> I'm taking your section down for the commanding officer's introductory chat. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, oh lovely. Oh, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Hey, Matthew. Yes, Bruce. If I'm asleep and dreaming this. Don't wake me up. <laughs> Come on, you horrible little rat bags. Get fell in. Move, Matthew. Get fell in. You too, Corporal. What, me? With them, you mean? Yes, Corporal. Step. <laughs> right, can you come, lads? Find yourselves a seat. Find yourselves a seat. You'll be handing out free ice creams next. I like vanilla best. Shut up. <laughs> Here, cop this. It don't look well, does it? Oh dear, I suddenly feel queasy. <laughs> you wait till it's the real thing. We don't. Why red and blue, then? Is he an off cost or what? <laughs> no, don't be daft. It's blue for Venus and red for arterial blood. Oh, oh, really, Professor? And how do you know that, Professor? I'm a grammar school twit, remember? <laughs> Not so much gab. And don't try to be clever about things you know nothing about. Well, um, what is it, then, Corporal? It's obvious. It's a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> well, why is it in two colours? Back and front. <laughs> Um, if it's a skeleton... Skellington. Sorry, Skellington. <laughs> why aren't there any ribs? Look, study it up for yourself. Don't try and pick my brains. <laughs> Officer present. How are you, Johnny? Right, thank you, sir. Good show. All right, chap, sit down. First of all, let me welcome you to Royal Air Force Middle. Here, you will be trained as nursing attendants. Now, knowing the vagaries of Royal Air Force trade selection, I am well aware that some of you probably wanted to do something else. <laughs> However, I hope that by the time you have completed your training, you will want to be nothing else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Robin. <laughs> now, some of the qualities that go to make up a good nursing attendant are compassion, understanding, and good humour. We can't issue you these qualities. What we can do, and do do here at Midham, is to foster an atmosphere which encourages them. Work hard, try hard, 
And you'll be treated as human beings. The man's mad. He's mad. What? <coughs> Coffin, sir. Sorry. Oh, yes. And now for the sad bit. Well, for me at least. The Air Ministry, in their infinite wisdom, have decided to kick me upstairs. <laughs> and so this is the last time I shall be welcoming a new intake. However, I shall be handing you over to Group <coughs> Captain Ruark, safe in the knowledge that you will be in very capable hands. Thank you, Jason. Not at all, Robin. <laughs> well, chaps, that's all I have to say. Good luck to you, and goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Cheers, sir. What a Christian man. Man? It's more like a nanny in Kensington Gardens. <laughs> oh, Robin seems all right, though, don't he? Robin, Jason, bloody medics, they're all books. <laughs> You're a medic now, Corporal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a miracle, isn't it? It's like coming out of a long, dark tunnel into the sunshine after all that square bashing. <laughs> On your feet. <laughs> uh, Johnny, a word, please. My name is Group Captain Rock, and I'm your new commanding officer. The departing commanding officer has explained to you his methods of producing efficient nursing attendance, and very interesting it was too. <laughs> However, it is not my method. Discipline is my method. Discipline. You're not mamby-pamby milksop students at Guy's Hospital. You are in the Royal Air Force. <laughs> Medics are generally considered to be nothing more than flat-chested wafts. <laughs> not my medics, gentlemen. My medics are going to be smarter and more disciplined than the RAF regiment. And by God, if anybody lets me down, I'll wear his small intestine as a medal ribbon. <laughs> Any question? Sir, I understand that early morning hut inspection has gone by the board, sir. Uh, permission to reinstate it, sir. Uh, what's your name? Corporal Marsh P, sir. I like the sound of you, Marsh P. Uh, no, no, Marsh is my name, sir. P is my initial. Oh, Marsh. <laughs> it's very unusual to see a regular NCO retraining. I'm trying to advance myself, sir. Uh, what were you before? Drill instructor, sir. Ah, oh, splendid. You're just the sort of chap I've been looking for. A disciplinarian at grassroots level. What this place needs, if I may say so, sir? Exactly. All right, Marsh. I shall be looking to you to ride these chaps pretty hard. And to remind them <laughs> that they are airmen first and foremost. With pleasure, sir. Right, carry on. Sir, room! Room, shout! Here is the weather forecast. <laughs> A violent thunderstorm is imminent over RAF Midden. And I am it. It's time for national service and to get drunk in. The only night you are so glad to get drunk in. So leave your mind in shopping up the town where you can win. Your victory of your boy will come to get drunk in. Your head, your feet are low, it's warm, I'm like a wind that you burn.